This meeting is now being recorded. Hello, and thank you for watching Express's online time card entry lesson. When you are assigned to a client that uses Express's online time card system, you will fill out your time card online. Log into Workforce Self Service at the Workforce.Express Pros at the Workforce.ExpressPros.com site. You should see a landing page that contains a section and a menu bar item labeled Time Card. From the Time Card section on the main page, click Review and Edit Time Cards, or click Time Card from the menu bar, then click Review and Edit Time Cards. You are next prompted for the week ending date and the job. More than one job may appear if you are on multiple assignments for the selected week. Only jobs where the company is using online time cards will appear in this list. Some companies use other time card methods. Select the date and job as necessary, then click OK. This is the time card entry page. The start and end fields indicate the beginning and ending times of the shift. Unpaid breaks, such as lunch or doctor appointments, are entered in the unpaid time fields. Mouse into the first day start field, type the hours you started work. The system automatically displays the entered hour, 00 is the minute, and AM. If you don't need to enter any minutes or change to PM, you can navigate into the end field. Now, many mobile devices will use a slider bar for you to select your in and out times instead of these entry fields. Type the hour the shift ended. Again, system displays the hour, 00 is the minutes, and AM. If you need to enter minutes, you can type colon or navigate using tab or mouse, etc., into the minute field and type the minutes. The, entry, the time entry still shows AM. Change the AM to PM as needed. Depending on your device, you may be able to just type P, or you may need to navigate to the AM area and either up arrow up or arrow down. Fill out the start and end types of unpaid breaks using the same methods. Watch for red text. It alerts you to any problems. Here the user hasn't yet changed the end break time to PM and the system warns that 2.30 a.m. is not appropriate based on the work hours. Change the a.m. to p.m. and the alert clears. The time card provides the calculated time for the day. You are responsible for determining if those hours are to be paid as regular time, overtime, or double time, as determined by applicable overtime laws in your work location. Enter hours accordingly. Then advance to the next day and enter as appropriate. Your work day and unpaid time may not always start and end at a 15 minute mark you should enter the exact time you started or ended, either work or unpaid periods, as the Tuesday en entry represents. The calculated daily hours entry automatically rounds hours for the day up or down to the nearest 15 minutes. Here we have entered Wednesday hours. Well, let's say the person had two unpaid break periods. To add a second unpaid break to the day, Click the down arrow to the right of the entry fields, then click Add Unpaid Time. A second group of unpaid time fields appears for Wednesday. Enter the additional unpaid time. Now, if that was a mistake, the additional unpaid time can be deleted by clicking the trash can icon to the right of the fields. The unpaid time fields are removed and the calculated time is updated. If the entire day is a mistake, click the down arrow again and this time click Clear Day. The hours for that day are cleared and calculated hours are updated. When you have finished entering time, click Save. You should get a green message in the upper left that says changes have been saved. You can access your time card at any time to enter and save hours. Make sure you enter your daily hours worked. In this example, we clicked Submit, but we had not yet entered the Saturday hours worked. So you'll notice the red error message. 
enter the appropriate regular time, overtime, and double time fields based on applicable overtime laws, and click Submit when you have completed entering time for the week. You are provided a summary of your hours, read through the acknowledgement, then check Accept. Then click the OK button to accept and digitally sign your time card. Your time card status has changed to pending, and the time card has been forwarded to the company for approval. You can no longer make changes to the time card. Instructions and demo videos are available from the Resources section of the Workforce website. Now, if you need help, contact your local Express office. You need to let them know the following. What device you're using? Is it a PC? Is it a Mac? Is it an iPhone? Etc. What browser is being used? If possible, provide a screenshot and provide a description of the problem. And thank you. We appreciate you using the Express Online Time Card System. If you have any feedback on the usability of this system, please let your local Express office know. We want to make sure the product meets the needs of our associates and clients.